I have always been fascinated with human behaviour and what motivates us, how we adapt and learn. Being in the field of ABA and autism actually was not my career path that I had envisioned for myself initially. I found myself drawn to those in need of emotional help and I wanted to work in the mental health industry. Um, this led me to be a behavioural health associate in a psychiatric ward in one of our local hospitals. Um, I, although my job then had a very different focus, I found myself being able to draw upon my prior counselling as well as psychoeducation experiences to help the families and colleagues I work with now. It has helped me to take better perspectives and also recognise the different processes such as grief and adjustment of mindset in order to grow. In my 16 years of working in AP, I've had the opportunity to take on many roles such as directly implementing the programmes, teaching in groups and classroom, and supervising social groups and classrooms. Um, currently, I'm managing cases, mentoring and training staff and supervisors, consulting to families overseas, as well as conducting workshops locally and in the region. Every child and family, family and therapist that I have worked with has taught me in so many different ways. I truly enjoy being challenged and learning all the time. In fact, this is one thing I love most about EP. Learning is something we do here all the time. I'm still receiving training from our directors consistently. We are also encouraged to pursue further education and I had completed my Masters in ABA and I'm a board certified ABA analyst. It brings me the most joy to know that I'm making a difference in the lives of the children and families that I work with. I'm really happy that I'm able to do what I love and help others through it. Well, there are so many moments for me. One I can think about now is a super cute two-year-old boy who was able to say some words or phrases randomly but he would not use it to communicate even when we set it up so that he may have the intent to do so. It was really very fascinating at that time but I also feel the, the pain of parents seeing their child knowing some language but yet still not be able to talk to them. We problem solved as a team and eventually managed to come up with a more structured way to teach him the process of imitating language on demand and how to use it to learn how to communicate. The joy in the parents' faces when he could request his favourite food and toys from them, that was priceless. The rest was history. He went on to learn to communicate and learn well and he's now in school. Another boy that I'm also very fond of was 5 years old when I first met him. He was a very smart boy, but he was also very much impacted by the strong rigidities and poor compliance and tolerance that he has. He was very selective in school as to which lessons he would sit and participate in. His parents also found it very hard to take him out as he would easily have a tantrum. We systematically worked on his challenges in the sessions and parents were also very much on board to learn all the different strategies that enables him to deal with the different situations that he found hard to tolerate. Equipped with the right replacement skills to deal with his anxiety and tolerance coupled with being able to communicate more effectively, he was able to learn and cope in different settings, which was very nice to see. It was a very happy day for us and his parents when he was accepted into primary school and it's nice to know that he's still coping well. There is never a dull day when your life's work revolves around children and how to help them overcome their challenges. I am truly blessed to have this path.